Hello everyone. Now we are going to solve problem 3.19 from Sadiku book. So the question is find the voltage at not V1, V2 and V3 uh, using nodal analysis and we will start by making assumptions about the direction of the current. So I just assume that the horizontal component has the current to the right all of them and then the vertical component I just assume they have bottom direction so like this one and this is the ground node so the voltage here will be 12 volt from the ground and we will start at node 1 now we have KCL at V1. We will have the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. All other current than this is going out. So this one is the only current that going in. So I will have 5 is equal to this current, 3, plus, okay, this one, I need to change it this one uh, V1 minus V3 divided by 2 this is 3 right and then plus this current V1 minus V2 divided by 8 and the last one is this current V1 divided by 4 now we can move this tree to the left hand side so I can just rewrite it as 2 5 minus 3 is 2 and then we multiply both sides by 8 so we have 16 here and this will equal 4 V1 minus 4 V3 plus V1 minus V2 plus 2 V1 and we will have 16 is equal to V1 we have this one 4 plus 1 plus 2 that makes 7 V1 and then V2 we only have this one so minus V2 and V3 we only have this one and it is 4 V3 let's save this as equation number one and I will move the 16 to the left hand side so I will make it look like there so it is neater and we will take a look at the other nodes so I will take a look at V2 what do we have here the current that goes in is only here and the current that goes out we have two so let's start by the current that going in v1 minus v2 divided by 8 plus this one v2 over 2 and then plus v2 this guy minus v3 divided by 4 oh this is not plus this is equal so this one is the current that going in and this one is the current that going out so we can multiply both sides by 8 so it will be v1 minus v2 is equal to 4 v2 plus 2 v2 minus 2 v3 and we can move this one to the right hand side so we will have minus v1 and for v2 we have this one this one and this one so that makes 7 v2 and then we will have minus 2 v3 and that will equal to 0 and we will save this as equation number 2 
and now the last notes that we need to care about is this one is at v3 now we have kcl at v3 what do we have here the current that goes in there is three current that goes in one two three and the current that goes out only one and we will start by the current that going in three plus this one v1 minus v3 divided by two and then we will have plus v2 minus v3 divided by four and that will equal to v3 minus 12 divided by 8 so we will have these equations and we can multiply both sides by 8 24 is plus 4 v1 minus 4 v3 plus 2 v2 minus 2 v3 is equal to v3 minus 12 so I want to move this one to the right hand side and what will we get v1 is only this one and v3 we have 1 2 and 3 and v2 we only have this one so we will have 24 and I will move the this 12 here to the left hand side so it becomes plus 12 and that will equal to minus 4 v1 and v2 will become minus 2 v2 and then for v3 we will have this minus 6 and we will have plus 7 v3 and 24 plus 12 is will it will become 36 and I will write it there so this one becomes equation number 3 and now we have three equations with three variables and con and the variables is exactly what are we looking for v1 v2 and v3 so let me erase the irrelevant equations here okay let's continue I have moved these three equations here and we have this one uh, so first one I want to eliminate this v3 from this system of equations so I saw first we have 4 and this one is minus 2 so first one I will take this equation 1 and I will leave it alone and I will take the equation 2 but I multiply it by 2 and now we will have 7 v1 minus v2 minus 4 v3 is equal to 16 and then we will have minus 2 v1 plus 14 v2 minus 4 v3 and this will equal to 0 and for eliminating this part I subtract this one these two equations so 7 minus minus 2 that become plus it's become 9 v1 and then this become minus v2 minus 14 15 minus 15 v2 and this part will be eliminated and I got 16 here and I will save this as equation number 4 now I need one more equations with two variables and we can derive from this part so what do we have here so I will take 
this equation they ha this has minus 2 and this has 7 so I want to make them cancel each other so I will take the equation number 2 and multiply it by 7 and I will take equation number 3 and I will multiply it by 2 now we will have minus 7 v1 plus 49 v2 minus 14 v3 and that will equal to 0 and then we multiply the equation 3 by 2 so we have minus 8 v1 and then we will have minus 4 v2 and then we will have plus 14 v3 and it, that will equal to 72 and for eliminating this v3 we need to add these two equations so the right hand side will be 72 this will cancel each other and this one will be 45 v2 and it's still plus and this one will be minus 15 v1 okay okay 72 let move it here okay we have equation number four and number five so let's do something here i want to eliminate this v2 i see 15 and 45 which which can be cancelled each other by using this multiplication for the equation number four i multiply it by three and equation number five i just leave it alone So I will have 27 V1 minus 45 V2 is equal to 48. Right? And now the equation number 5 minus 15 V1. And what does this equal to? plus 45 v2 is equal to 72 and now we can add both of them what do we get and we will get 27 minus 15 it will be 12 v1 this will cancel each other and that one will be 112 and finally we get v1 is 112 divided by 12 it is 10 fold so this is our first our first answer this note is 10 fold so let square this not square this mm. let put it into the box and then what do we have here now we can plug this into these equations the easiest one is equation number four so by doing equation number four I substitute v1 tenfold to the equation number four so we will have nine times 10 minus 15 v2 is equal to 16 and this one is 90 minus 16 is equal to 15 v2 and then should we erase this no no we should not erase this so I will make some room here 
so we will have we will have this one 90 minus 16 and I'm slow with it 4 8 minus 1 is 74 and that one will equal to 15 V2 is it right and then we will have V2 is equal to let me get calculator okay I got my calculator here so this one we need to calculate 74 divided by 15 that will equal to 4.933 volt so let's take this as our answer or final answer for this note and we will still have one more note here so I think we can use equation 3 to plug this one in and we will see the result now let me erase this one okay we will have equation 3 that will be 4 minus 4 v1 is 10 volt and then minus 2 v2 is that value 4.933 and then plus 7 v3 it will equal to 36 and this one is will it will be minus 4 times 10 okay let me show you my calculator minus 4 times 10 minus 2 times 4.933 what does this value the value is this one minus 49.866 plus 7 v3 is equal to 36 and then we move this one to the right hand side so we will have this one is equal to 36 plus 49.866 and that will be 85.866 and then finally We will have V3 is equal to this value divided by 7. It is 12.267 volt. And this is our final answer for V3. And so, in conclusion, we will have 10 volt as the voltage at v1 and this value 4.933 at node 2 and this value 12.267 at node 3 the voltage at node 3 and this is our final answer thank you for watching and let me know if you find any mistakes thank you bye bye